maybe 9 p.m. So, you know, if that, that's an hour commute, get home maybe about 10 o'clock. Who is about to eat at 10 o'clock? day five so uh, it is currently 7 44 in the morning um i had to wake up at five to prepare for class this is actually my first time in a classroom a physical classroom since 2020 no 2019 um yeah <laughs> so um most of my teaching has been online but it, but so anyways i live about an hour or so away from this university and um so i had to get up very early to get here and that means that i did not weigh myself this morning um i didn't make any coffee or you know any of those things i just decided i would find, you know find some coffee around here if necessary or just drink hot water all day um this university seems to be nicely positioned because there are quite a few places around here and there's a kfc not far from here i know it's like kfc what are you going to get from there if push comes to shove and i really um, need to get some meat then i will go there to get some um some chicken not fried chicken but some chicken but i doubt it though i mean we'll see i have six classes today all of them are back to back and i won't be getting back home until about maybe 10 p.m so but i did bring my uh my meter with me to test my um ketones to see if I'm in ketosis and I'll weigh myself when I get back home. I know it'll be like evening and you know your weight fluctuates from morning to evening. Um, so usually you weigh the less, you, you weigh the least during the day. And then at night um, you have your, like your, you weigh more, but it is what it is. I will do my measurements. Y'all, I'm checking this system out. I will do my measurements and uh, weigh myself when I get back home after class, but I'll do my ketones probably around like um, midday because I wanna measure my ketones at around the same time um, each time that I do this. So it's been five days so far. Um, I've been very consistent um, and that makes me happy. I have noticed less joint pain, less joint pain. I still have some, but less. And like two days in a row, I was sitting crisscross applesauce style, like Indian style uh, with my legs crossed. And I mean, for like a long time and I, I didn't have any pain or anything like that. And I didn't even realize it until I was like, yo, I'm, I'm sitting with my legs crossed for like minutes. I mean like 30 minutes or more. Um, which is huge for me, huge for me. So um, yeah, that that's like a benefit and a plus. Um, and I have been having detox headaches, uh, but you know, the, the weather is changing. It's getting a little cooler. It was pretty cold out here today. So I, I brought my, my thermos with me so I can just really sip on hot water all day. Um, if I, you know, plan to eat something, like I'm not hungry right now, uh, but then again, it's in the morning. So um, if I do plan to get something, it'll probably be much later today. But that's it for now. I'll check back in in a little bit. <clears throat> well, it has been, um, it's 2.49 p.m. I'm in a break in between classes right now. And um, I haven't had anything to eat. Um, I'm okay. My uh, one of my colleagues here had some coffee for me. Uh, yeah, so, but I will give me a second. Mm. I haven't eaten anything. Um, uh, had coffee given to me. Okay, and it's black. I mean, there's literally nothing in there. There's nothing in this coffee whatsoever. I had coffee given to me, and um, this was the one that I had already. I had already had this coffee. 
I do like this. Like I said, there's no cream, no sugar, no nothing in it. The one that I have in here is uh, it's called Dark. And it's supposed to be like the blackest of the black coffee that you can get. <laughs> That you can have. And when I tell you this thing is bitter, honey, it's bitter. Yeah, it's nasty. But I, I, I probably won't get home until almost 10 o'clock. So that's why I don't think that I'm going to be eating later, um, later today. I'm okay with that, you know. I'm okay with that. I have coffee. It's not like I'm not used to fasting anyway. You know, I do have a lifestyle where fasting is uh, uh, fasting is included. So I'm okay with that. I am. I'm okay with it. Um, so yeah, yeah. I um, I'll be going back to my class in a little bit, and well, my next class. So so far, I've had three classes. I have six total. I have six total classes. And um, the next classes will, the next class begins really soon. And then after that, sorry, I was looking for my uh, charger. Then after that, I have two more classes. Uh, the, in between, I have like, you know, like another, I think I have like an hour break from 4.30 to 5.30. I have an hour break a full one hour break. Uh, so I'm going to take that opportunity to um, get some work done. I'm gonna work on some uh, some editing from, from day four. This is day five. So I'm gonna work on some editing from day four because I, I or those burgers I made yesterday, the, the lamb and bacon burgers that I made yesterday were really, really good. Ah, oh, but I noticed that my stomach, like I kept feeling nauseous. Um, I kept feeling really, really, really nauseous uh, later towards the evening and um, after eating my, you know, my burgers. And so last night I drank some, it's called detox tea. It's just herb, strong herbs, very strong herbs. I drank some of that and about halfway through the night, honey, that thing decided it wanted to kick in. It wanted to kick in. And I got up and I went to the restroom and, and handled my business. And um, then I felt so much better. I felt so much better. And it, I felt good to cleanse my system like that. Um, I think that the lamb probably helped with that. I'm pretty sure it probably helped with that. So yeah, overall, I feel them. Feeling pretty good, got up this morning, uh, knew that I needed to get up because I had an hour commute, a one hour commute. And so, yeah, you know. Well, brought my keto mojo with me and I had every intention of, uh, I had every intention of testing my ketones my blood glucose and doing, doing that right now. But guess who forgot her lancets? Got my, got my thingy, but no lancet, no needle to go in the middle. So, uh, you know, by the time I get home, it's going to be so late. I mean, I, I literally have everything minus the needle that I need to, to poke, stick with my finger and get the blood. So, um, I'm just gonna have to do it when I get home. Uh, by that time, it's gonna be very late at night. So instead of doing my measurements and all of that stuff today, honestly, I didn't think day five was going to fall on a Saturday where I literally am teaching all day at, at my second university. Um, so I'm, I'm going to, I'm just gonna do it tomorrow on day six instead. Um, so if you're watching this on my blog, then you can head over to day six uh, to see my results. Remember, I'm sharing the results on my blog. So my weigh-in, my measurements, and my, um, my like the, you know, the, the metrics, like my uh, body analytics, and uh, my GKI, the, um, all of that. GKI is glucose, 
something index, glucose ketone or index or something like that. You'll see it on the blog. But so I can't do that here. Um, so I think I'm gonna have just a few minutes before the next class begins. Then after that, I have one last class and I think I'm just gonna relax because yeah, haven't eaten anything today. Um, I had some coffee. Remember I told y'all it was nasty. It was this one, nasty. Now I'm just sipping on some hot water because it's cold here and there's no really good insulation and there's no heater in here that's turned on at this moment. So I got some hot water, which serves as a dual purpose to keep me warm and also to fill my body, but I'm not hungry. Um, that's what happens when you just, when you literally get so busy and you stay focused. And that's what happens to me at home too, which is why every day for the past four days, I've done one meal a day. I've done OMAD. So, um, and it, it wasn't intentional. It was not intentional. It was not intentional. Uh, but today fasting and when I get home, it's going to be way too late to eat. Like I have an hour commute after my last class. My last class ends at... My last class ends at 8.45, 8.45 p.m. So, you know, and then I have to go, you know, get, gather my things, go downstairs, wait for the Didi. The Didi will probably arrive maybe 9 p.m. So, you know, if that, that's an hour commute, get home maybe about 10 o'clock. Who is about to eat at 10 o'clock? Honestly, the only thing I'm going to want to do is climb my behind in the bed and knock out. Well, take a shower first and then knock out. So what was I thinking when I said I was going to do this? Ah, Next week, though, I'm going to have my lunch prepared and I'm going to bring it with me. Something that I won't have to use a microwave for because there is no microwave in here. So... Maybe something like um, boiled eggs. Ooh, boiled eggs sounds so good right now. Maybe something like boiled eggs and um, some tuna. I can maybe I can make like a tuna salad and uh, some some meat that. Uh, or maybe I can make some bacon chips. I don't know. Mm. I'll check back in a little bit later. I'm gonna try to rest my eyes before the next class begins in a few moments. Mm -hmm. It's 9.40 p.m. and I just finally got home. And I'm about to take a much needed hot shower because it's super cold outside. Um, super cold outside and the, the building actually, the building that I had class in was very cold today. So, but I'm tired and I just got home just like literally, you see, I'm just now taking on my coat, just, uh, walked in the door and I picked up a package today. Uh, there was a package that was waiting for me when I arrived, and I actually think it's my meat. What all meat? I